Hi everyone, it's Jerry. I am going to play an hourly Super Blitz Arena. 57 minutes of 3-0. Alright. Matanzas. Okay, we have played lots of games. Alright, let's go with C6 here. Oh, I'm actually recalling a game we had. I think it was this opponent. No, I could be mistaken. Okay. Let's see. They have space. Yeah, I was thinking of a game that I lost with a Catalan opening, but this is no Catalan in. I didn't lose my last game against this guy. Okay, so... I flick this A5 move in, because I don't want to see a quick B4. B4. B4, B5. And they're going for that. I'm actually thinking I should have maybe played this instead of Bishop here. Try and get this exchange in. And then clamp down on the b4 idea, but the timing is not there. I was threatening a trick there if they pushed. Knight takes pawn was available. In fact, it's still there if they play in that way. Um, it seems healthy going here. Okay, so they're getting out of that trick. I'm wondering if I should try this. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to get a weak pawn one way or the other to watch over this guy and now this guy so i guess it turned out rookie eight is pretty much a waste and now they have a, a nice grip there yeah i'm really not liking my decision there to play h6 this is going to be a problem isn't it I do have a square here. It's my only square. Queen is close to out of squares. Oh, I missed... Well, actually, they missed something here. I didn't see that that was hanging. And they didn't see that their knight was hanging. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's go for this one, I guess. Or I guess I could exchange. I do have the knight supporting this. I'm way down on the clock. I don't think my queen is getting trapped. You know, with this tension between the rooks, no rook c2. Okay, and now their queen. What if I threaten mate? I'm gonna have a perpetual? No, they don't have a perpetual. Okay, back they go. Guess let's start here. Sort of seems like an improvement. Oh, queen exchange. Do not mind that. Being up the piece. Dropping a lot of stuff. Let's try and get this guy off. Alright, what's the cleanest way to approach this. Bring my king over. Stop king there for a second. I want to round up this pawn. Very shaky start here. Got two on this. No pawn push here. In fact, let me, let me just come up like this. My king could scoop him up. Not sure exactly where I'm going. Gotta watch out for forks all the time. Okay. Oh, well, they're dropping a lot of stuff. Yeah, that's too much. Just have to watch out for stalemates. Tricky pawn moves. 
I really lucked out with this one. This was a bad start. I'll be able to bring home the point here. Or will I? Oh, stalemate, just as I was saying that. Oh, I got too confident there. I'll be able to bring home the full point, I say. Ah, oh, man. Such an elementary mistake. <laughs> okay. I got that bad start out of my system, I guess. I hope. I hope I got it out of my system. I should have just threw that bishop in the corner. I normally do that. If you have too much material, just demote the pieces so that they have no mobility. Ah, unfortunately that bishop was a contributor, taking away a key square from the king. All right, that's a long game. A close to a nine minute game one, and I got one point. Okay. It was messy for both of us, really. Okay. Hmm. Maybe I can hop around on that E6 square. It's looking appealing. I was expecting them to capture and then play knight to f6. I'm ducking the knight exchange because I don't want this guy to see the world so easily. But I guess, I don't know, I, can, can I still work my way into this square? I guess I could. Feels a little weird doing it like this, but... Or no, you know what, I could play here first. I, I was thinking that uh, my knight could be kicked, but I have pressure here. So this is this is far more harmonious. Running it like this. It's not going to be hitting with check, but that would be a huge weakness to play h6 with these two here. And... Alright, no. Now, now it can't be played, because it's no longer check, but it's... Might as well be check. Okay. Simba is my opponent. Simba 2002. First time playing. Don't know from where. All right. I'm tempted to just jump right in here. I'm wondering a bit, though, about exchange sacrifices. Maybe... Uh, maybe I could push this guy around. I was thinking about b3 as well. Okay. Knight's not doing so good here. I guess... I guess I could jump in. Uh, it's an exchange sacrifice here. I got the f4 square covered. I don't think they have enough if they go for that. This knight... Doesn't really have anything. I could glue the rook in there. I think I like that idea. Now there's no exchange sacrifice with the queen as the leader for the battery. Pretty stable rook. This guy's not going to bother the rook. This is the only one that could bug the rook. I guess I could have even considered knight g5. I could revisit this. And why not? In fact... Got a lot of stuff happening here, don't I? So there's, there should be a good move for me. Knight takes h7 is looking appealing. I got these squares covered. Bishops have them. Queen has this. That's the important one. I'm surprised they didn't play this yet. Is there some other move? Are they thinking about queen takes and then maybe bishop here? Possibly. Right, I'm going to go for this one. And no light square bishop, and I have an unopposed light square bishop. Tactics should be there. Or they're more likely to be there. Unopposed light square bishop. A lot of stuff here. Okay, so my first thought was just chop that knight. 
I don't have to, though. I could take the material and circle back if night takes rook. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold off from saying this should be a smooth conversion. <laughs> He'll learn my lesson. We'll see. Let's give the queen a kick. No rush in taking this guy. Still doesn't have a square. Queen is almost trapped. Go here. I'd like to take here with tempo if possible. I'd prefer not to move my F pawn. Okay, let's take the pawn with tempo. And bishop is pinned. I have good coordination. Um, I guess let's get this guy in the ball game. Plenty of time in the tank. That knight has a square now. <laughs> not the not the greatest square, but I want to open up my rook's eyes. Queen's defending the rook. Rook up and over. Queen takes, I have this. Where's the mate? One, two. Okay. All right. Some lengthy games there. First two. Who's in first? Dragon Sword. Ooh. Running with some all out berserk. SM46. Okay. Let's try G6. Um, let's try this one. We'll go with the double fiend kiddo. And grab some space. Uh, go. Yeah, let's just continue to develop. Yeah, I thought there might be some pressure on that guy soon. <laughs> I'm there to recapture. Alright, my knight is pinned. How concerning is that? Uh, let's just take... Oh, okay. Let me castle before there's maybe this. Okay. How about... Oh, wait a second now. If I play knight here, this bishop is having a tough time. Yeah. I'm tracking this guy down soon, I believe. Unless there's some knight move here, because my bishop is unprotected. Okay. So I could take this guy. But I could also still not take it. It's like my knight's pinning the bishop in this case. All right, I'll take him now that he's ready to run away. And let's complete development. Bishop's now defended. There shouldn't be any wonderful tactics about this one as a start. That seems good, too. How can I get my dark square bishop working is it worthwhile to flick this worthwhile to flick that one in i think it is don't let you don't let this guy begin to improve um maybe here i don't mind the queen exchange or even the rook exchange i think i think in the end i wonder about rook a4 How's that playing out? Is my A-pawn just going to fall? I wonder. Okay, I guess I'll go there. Maybe just, just play it where I centralize the king. Back to, back to basics. I'm not sure exactly where I'm going, though, honestly. What should my plan be? Okay, this knight is kind of stuck. I don't know, let's... Going over here. If I move my knight, there's going to be that push. Maybe... This square opened up? 
Still going to get that push in. Okay, I guess I could take. I don't mind that. I felt like this guy was a liability. If I attacked, am I going to be able to defend him easily? Yeah. Let's go somewhere else. Maybe I should have played here. Can't push here. I could take away and then in the end land a fork. I might have this on the cards. Okay. Oh, they're... They missed that I'm on that pawn. That's a huge pawn. Huge. Also, there's a huge clock advantage for white. So my knight is stable. I have all the important pawns covered. Maybe I could try to drive this guy up here. Okay. Maybe improve my king. Actually, I wonder... Why did I why did I take that bishop off that diagonal? It's so easy to miss a fork. I can't push this pawn. Okay, I don't mind that. Oh, I could have made things so simple. King and pawn ending. Could have got the knight there. If the knight moves, I get I gain some ground. Are they in a pickle here? Well, not exactly. I guess they have to play king there. They're not doing that, so. Their knight is under control. I should be winning the second pawn. I have the good coordination with my bishop and structure. Okay, I have that pawn. Keep the knight offset. Just shuffling. My king back to a, a decent square. There. That's the one I should have played earlier. Bringing it to a king and pawn ending. Okay, this time no stalemates. No stalemates. That is not stalemate. Plenty of time. Okay. Long games. Man. I don't think I'm going to do any berserking. Just trying to play some decent games. Just shy of 300 in here. Cause. Let's try E4. Uh, I get a little wild. <laughs> it's as wild as it gets with me. H4. That'll scare them. All right. I don't mind. You know, it's a, my good bishop for their bad bishop. However, I wonder about, let's try something a bit different just to mess with their structure. I don't want to allow that. That would be a rock solid structure there. So we'll see. Positional pawn sacrifice. This guy here. I may even be okay giving up a second pawn. They might go after one of these two. And I might might get there. Okay, this seems interesting. Knight b5 or maybe knight c2 reinforcing d4. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to castle kingside. I don't like going in that direction, but... I really don't have many options. Well, wait a second. What if I take here and take here? Get the pawn back. I think I'm good with that. And I still have control over this square. Maybe, maybe they back off and they get this going. Yeah. Maybe I jump in, though. Let's try this. Oh, I'm on this pawn as well. Oh, they might miss that. They're thinking. They might miss it. No, they didn't miss it. Okay. The knight, the knight could block if I took there right away. Okay. Uh, you know what? I don't know if I want to castle. I think I want to get my king out of here, though. 
That bishop is stopping castling over here. Maybe I go queenside? Ugh. Okay, I, I guess I go here. Go after this pawn. Be very, very careful. Okay, oh yeah. Ugh, okay. This is going to be a problem. Okay, I guess this is my way to defend the pawn. It's not fun. I could have played b4, but I guess I'm, I'm caring a bit more about about what exactly. A bit more about improving my knight. I have this move. That's why I went here to keep pressure on f5. I don't want to see this get going. Okay. Well, they have a push, but I have this rook. Wait a second. I could take here. There's no bishop check. Let's get off of this diagonal. Now their bishop is pinned. I have this covered. Would I take it? They'd be unpinned if I take it. Maybe I wouldn't want to take it. Okay. Where do I put my rook? Probably here. Just stay super coordinated. This could fall with check. I could also flick this in with check. It's still a pin along the g-file. To watch out for bishop here and queen here. That would be a mate. Okay. Let's start with that one. Defend here. I could take even if there's a push. Now I think I'm ready to go with this one. Could take with check. They probably should have played here. Maybe still losing if they go there, but now it's much easier to calculate any bishop move. It's check aside from bishop f8. Okay, I didn't see that one. I think I could scare them away now. Uh, is there a cleaner approach? Oh, what about this, actually? It's targeting this. I was thinking about the checks, and then here, and then and then a check here. It's probably winning, but I think this might be uh, easier to uh, calculate. I just want to pinpoint this guy. Okay, and the checks I could take here. Ming one. Bishop here, I could take. I could take with the queen. There's no accident happening on g2. No perpetual, no stalemate ideas. They got pawns. I guess that's the only try. Yeah. They might go for rook takes. I guess they have to try that. Okay, let's just go here. Run that. Okay, we got this one. Okay, that was sloppy. <laughs> That's what I get for H4. Okay. Man, time flies. 33 minutes. I got nine. I got fire. That was my first four. My first round opponent is cruising. 24. Okay. Let's see what opening we could play here. First of all, what's white throwing at us? D4. Okay, how about, well, maybe we try a Jinji Indian. <laughs> Opponent's playing like I did the last game. All right, I'm going to meet h5 with g5. That's all I'm saying with h6. This square's a bit weakened, so pins could be irritating. All right, now now I think I want to challenge with this guy. I don't have to worry about going uncastled with this guy in the way. Okay, this is this is a welcome sight. I don't mind the bishop check. I still don't mind being being uncastled here. Um, I mean, it's not forced being uncastled. Uh, let's start with. Yeah, I think that bishop's going to be pretty good no matter what. Ooh. Fancy. Okay. Okay, are they, I mean, are they really going for 
Oh no, queen here I'm covering. I'm thinking something like this and here, queen queen here straight away with some double attack. Forgetting my knight is covering it from f6. Alright, what's the story with this guy? I want to wait for knight f6 before I go here. Uh, is this okay? Or... I guess I'll go here. Something like this and here. I don't know if it's really a big deal. I could always play this one. That's what they're going for. I don't mind weakening my light squares so much. I'm covering it. My bishop's watching over c6. That's the main weakness. Maybe I could even soften up a square or two. Okay. Actually, I was waiting for a move like this. Um, knight g4 is extra appealing. Going after this is the this is the good guy going after the good bishop. So, uh, and similar to that that earlier game, I'm in this position where I see the knight is. I, I should be a bit patient there with the capture. Or maybe maybe not, actually, because knight here, and then if I'm capturing, the knight gets to recapture an eye up that square. So I wonder if I should flick that in now, although this guy might be extra hungry. All right, I have two paths into this super weak square. I think now I want to take before they have that maneuver. Okay, and now I think I'm cool with castles. I guess the bishop's going to go here no matter what. It's watching over my knight getting to this square. This move I'm playing here, there's no sacrifices. That's a scan I did before castling. I do not want the h-file to pe be peeled open. I don't want a knight for two pawns being exchanged. They would only get one with my queen around here. This guy is in a pin. This guy is unprotected. This guy could do something better. Maybe I should have considered this move. Oh, okay, they're castling. Okay, so uh, I'm kind of drawn to this one, actually. Yeah, because if the knight moves, I could take the pawn now, and I'm also stopping h5 altogether. Okay, that's weakening, though. Um, okay, I'm going to go here knowing that I could get pinned. My rook will be out of place. Out of play. Okay, they didn't go for that. Should probably look to exchange my knight. If they go here, I should duck the exchange. Okay, get to the open file. Oh, I'm just realizing, hmm, okay, my bishop could be in a little bit of trouble after g4, but I'd still have queen takes h4. Maybe I just go all the way back, or... I don't know. This is my favorite piece so far. I think they should challenge it. Okay, now that now that isn't a move... I'm going to try this. I'm giving this square up, but I have a plan of here, here. Uh, I have to be a bit careful. Knight there is hitting my bishop. Okay, let's do this first. This and then this. Oh, I want bishop h6. Yes. Just staring at my own pawns here. Okay, I'm on the queen. Don't have to move the bishop just yet. I could take the rook as well. And why why not? Yeah, I'm going to take that. Just come all the way back. Okay. That bishop is really good. Okay. These pawns control the knight. Okay, there's a check. That bishop is really good. Maybe I should be playing f5 or... Willing to give up some material to open some lines. I gotta go faster. Much faster. To watch that doesn't fall. Now offer a queen exchange. Stay focused. Not sure what I'm doing exactly with that. Let's 
check I'm not afraid of. Okay, they're, ooh, they were spending a lot of time there. That was messy. Um, you know what? If I, my, my first thought here is I should have went for the material. Bishop takes rook. Don't like that decision. It felt, it felt like an environment there that was more suitable for minor pieces. Still very locked. My rooks were really clumsy there at the end. What was the, their productive role? I don't know. Okay. One chess player more. Quick pressure here. In my center. All right. I'll keep it. Still keep the tension. Uh, I was going to say that I'm okay with being on castle. I think, I think that's correct, but I, I, I'm not forced to, to play in that way. I could take once and then if they're capturing, take once and then do something like that. Is it worthwhile to play here? I don't think so. I think those two pawns are pretty good. If I'm going to take, I'm going to take this guy because there's fewer options on the recapture. There's three, three ways black can be recapturing. I think it's best to take with the pawn. But that's my reasoning with that decision. Okay. That's got to be a good move. Open file. I'm just going to go here. I know... Hmm, no, nah, let's not do that. I'm, a, I'm afraid of... Knight exchange, rook exchange, bishop d6, and f4. Okay. Some light square weaknesses now. Maybe, maybe this, actually. I wonder if I should be playing with my f-pawn. There's a big difference here, actually, on the e-file. e5 is a hole, e4 is not a hole. Well, maybe I don't have to play f4 now. If I could... Why would I want to play f4? It's to stop black from playing f4. But if I, currently it seems like I'm cool with peace play. Um, mm, let's go here. Some restriction. Way down on the clock. Um, restricting the night. That's my big idea there. All right, let's go for this now. Well, there's going to be some pressure on... Okay. There's going to be some pressure on d5. Bishop takes, knight takes. Okay. Uh, Take, I guess take... A bishop here is going to be played, isn't it? Okay, it's getting chaotic here. Takes f5. Okay, maybe I should... I was also on that a lot. No, let's play in the center, actually. Instead of f4, the more committal. If I'm kicked, and I now have this square. I, we, these are now both holes. Okay, they're cutting that one out. Let's try and stop this idea. If this, I can take once and play here. Uh, I guess here. Am I prepared really to give up my light square bishop for the knight? I may be. I think I should be able to maintain my knight. Okay. Didn't see that one. Oh! They, they're not controlling this anymore. I could take there. My time, though. Okay, I think I want to play this. Yeah. Can't allow a light square bishop exchange and then that knight to jump in there. Gonna go after this guy. I guess queen f2. I could unpin. Shouldn't be any problem if they form a battery with the queen. Knight c2. Okay, queen's the one putting pressure here. Knight here. King h2. Two. 
prefer not to play this. Um, it's just ready to blunder. Okay, let's go here. Time. I don't mind the doubled pawns. I'm on this this point. Maybe I should have played that. Queen e5 next. Okay. I don't see how their queen gets active. My time. Now I'm seeing how their queen could get active. Queen check gets the queens off. I'm gonna go for that. Try and make life simpler. They're not taking my. Oh, they missed the queen. Whoops. Yeah, I was wondering. They're taking some time there. Why am I going on a light square? Totally unnecessary. They're having some serious connection issues. They keep blinking. Let's not stalemate. Okay. 20 minutes to go. Where do we stand? Ooh, just barely page one. This guy, first round opponent, is cruising. Pretty good berserk right there. 90%. Okay. It's still possible to get top three. Not catching him. Okay, David. Uh, let's uh, go e4, e5. Okay, c3, you say. All right, I don't have to worry about knight c3. So that's why I feel a bit more comfortable bringing my queen out early. Okay, early queen exchange. I don't think you could really take advantage of the king. So, let's just continue to develop. Okay. I'm going to flick this in. I don't, I don't want to see this guy get going anytime soon. So, center fork tricks. I don't know that they're Really going to be there. These seem like all healthy moves, what I'm doing here. I don't think I'm doing anything wrong. Um, how about, you know, they've, they've cut out any bishop g4, so, oh, we've, fianchetto. Okay, that seems healthy as well. Um, keep developing. <laughs> uh, this, this move has been crossing my mind for many moves now. I feel like it could get hit with a pawn advance. This is unprotected. Okay. Your knight moved. I'm going to I'm going to move too. We're back to fighting for similar squares. Wow, that is that is a super weakening move. Um am I not ready though right now to chop here? Should be able to enter. You have to take with the knight. Otherwise, I win the knight. Okay. Okay, let's take. And I guess enter. I don't know if I'm... Am I really able to track something down? Maybe I am. Yeah, I think I might be close to winning a pawn. I think in some some lines I have to be careful of bishop b5. Like if I take here. Okay, that I didn't expect. Okay, because now it's different. I could take the queen. And now I could take on e4. Bishop here, I win the full piece. Okay, so now, now I want to get out of that. Although... No, let's keep the foot on the gas here. Keep moving forward. F2. And this one? 
Let's go with this one, too. Oh. Oh, okay, actually, on this one I have bishop here. Or no, what am I talking about? If the bishop, the bishop's pinned to f2. Okay. And now maybe move my knight. Yeah, this seems like a good square. Bishop is still pinned. Or is it? Hmm, okay. Well, that's a good move. It's a really good move. I'm just going to be losing something now. Okay. I think I have to give up my pawn. Uh, after I recapture, I'm defending this bishop. Oh, they missed that idea. I'm on this knight, too. Right here defends everything. Am I up the exchange? I'm up the exchange. Their knight is under control. Here, I guess. Watch out for passers. Feel like it should be close to mate. Knight takes pawn and rook here. Is a mating pattern. 33 seconds. Knight is still under control. Back rank mates, no problems. Maybe, maybe this is the safer spot. Okay, I'm on the bishop. I got a knight check. Bishop's covering it at the moment. Do they see that I'm on the bishop? This was also a move. Okay. I guess let's just collect a pawn. Check. Knight here is a mate. Oh. Okay. The king was super active there. 14 minutes to go. 21 with fire. I might be getting him. I think he just jumped up. No, he's in a game against the I am. I am FM playing a game right now. Okay. Somebody, anybody. Dragon Sword. Let's try C4 game. Oh, Berserk. I guess we'll try... Oh, yeah, I got the Berserk game. We'll try one Berserk. So, Bullet. I get a bunch of exchanges in. Take with this. My king could step over. Okay. Keep the diagonal open. Oh, uh, let's, let's, let's do it. Let's just go for some play on the structure. Uh, it's not allow him to go anymore. Oh, Rook here. Um, I think it, I don't know. Shouldn't I win the tempo game with their, their structure? Yeah, they get... It's a very active play. I don't know, is it a one king and pawn ending? I feel like it should be. I don't want to see that guy go any further. Put a little pressure here. Yeah, I'm just allowing them to undouble. Seems my, like my pawns are more fluid. Oh, okay, this should be... Yeah, I should be getting the rook pawn now. Is that really a catchable pawn? Okay, I have to. I 
just want to circle around. My queen is defended. Should be very difficult for them to find a perpetual. Queen's covering everything. She's golden right here. Stop that. Okay. Yeah, you know, uh, that rook pivot on d6 was very good. I should have I should have anticipated that. Typical idea. You put it on a square where if I make the decision to initiate the capture, the pawns are straightened out. Okay. 11 minutes to go. Uh, Alright, how about a kingside fiend kiddo? King's Indian. Question this guy. Maybe, well, let's try it like this. Let's go hunting for a, an imbalance. Uh, continue to follow this path of not taking that bishop so soon. Um, yeah, let's go with this. I'm not going to recapture. I'm going to play queen a5 if pawn takes pawn. So I'm playing it. I'm playing this position as if I already have the imbalance. I guess there's queen a4 in reply. Didn't really take that into account. All right, let me change course. I guess I'm going to go for... Mm. Okay, let's let's do this. Queen a4, I'll exchange, take on c5. Knight takes c5, I take b2. Two-point pawn, bishop pair, open position. Should be compensation. I need to take twice here. Maybe, I, didn't, I didn't even consider that they could be capturing like this. All right. Hmm. Yeah, I guess you could just take like that, can't you? Messy. Messy game. Still keep the pin. Knight here is going to be so strong. Where am I supposed to castle? They're pursuing a queen exchange. I would not mind that. Okay, I'm going here because I want to try and tame this knight as soon as the pin isn't there. That's my way to tame the knight. Okay. I'll go here, maybe repair the structure. I don't mind knight there so much. Well, I guess I'm going to go this way. Feels safer. There's no dark square bishop. Maybe a four is a move. Yeah. I am a... Oh, I'm forgetting. Okay, I have this square covered. What am I doing? I want a queen exchange. Okay. I'm anticipating that there's going to be some pressure here. Not down anything, am I? No, even material. Okay, let's get out of that pin. Queen here. No fancy knight forks. It feels like an evenish position. Queen f6. There's no way my queen is better than theirs. Okay, are they going for. Not sure what they're going for. Let's go here. Guess they're going here. I want to be able to play here. Okay. But check. Get this in, maybe a pawn here, some mate. Check, is that anything? Let's try this check. Maybe queen here, even. I was hoping they went king h1 so that I'm threatening a queen exchange and to win this pawn. Not going for that. Oh my goodness, I missed that that was even a move. 
Oh, man. Now I think my queen is just trapped. Yeah, my queen is just going to be trapped now. Oh, I don't have another square. No, I shouldn't have moved that pawn. I would have had some resource here. Lucky to be alive right now. <laughs> oh man. This is lost. They could have just pushed there. Floundering. I gotta go for time burners. Ah, uh, I deserve to lose that. Oh, man. My queen got tracked right down. Oh, I was lucky to even get their queen back like that. What did, what was I thinking there with the queen? Yeah, that idea with F4. F4, G4. Hmm. Or actually, even going back to that, that, that check was just way too short-lived. It was my initial feel, but I still went with it. Mm. Like, she wasn't connected with anything else, is what I'm thinking. So she just turned out to be one piece out there trying to attack, not coordinate with anything, though. Okay. Black already has an excellent position in this one. Easily get in e5. Wonder if I should... Yeah, let, let's play here. Let's not give them a second chance to track that guy down. May run away. Not... Not captured now. Uh, let's get a little crazy. F4. Let's go with this one. If my knight's challenged, I'm prepared to play F4. Okay, and on that move... Let's try this. Knight takes knight, I could take the bishop with check. I don't know that this one's going to finish. Probably not. Two minutes left. Okay, I could take here, and then the king is overloaded after the recapture. Got this guy. I don't think my queen's getting trapped in this one. <sighs> but that move there is very good. Castles, I guess. Could have thrown in the check. Okay. Hmm. Why didn't I think about these squares sooner? 
This is a poison pawn. Probably rook h8 to get my queen out of there. And then where do I go? Queen c2. D3. I wouldn't mind if this is in there because then this is strengthened. Let's continue on this path. Bishop's in a pin. Knight f5. Knight h5. I also go here. Still pinned. My knight's covering f1. I'm up the pawn. Okay. Now I'm going to have to move my rook, I guess, here. I have this square available. Start with this, I guess. Watch out for a pawn break. Restrict the rook under a minute in the tournament. Knight f5 has been a move for a while. If I don't want to play this too soon, because this, all right. all right, this is hitting with tempo though. Get my king on a light square. I'm gonna try for h5. I could have also maybe tried e4 here. Now, but then there's a bishop check and rook takes pawn. All right, so this could be a move. Oh, also this could be a move. Simple doubling up. Oh, I thought they might try bishop a7. I have a good enough grip over that. Okay. Seems like an improvement. Just a hair. Threatening knight takes pawn. Rook is defended, but not well enough. C6 pawn is pinned, A6 pawn is pinned. Well, the B pawn is pinned, so these two are up for grabs. Is what I'm trying to say. Let's go one. Knight's covering a lot of squares. Okay, let's go back here. To reroute. King on f3 feels very good. I don't like being on the same color, but I don't want to see the rook enter. We're at a standstill here with the b7 pawn. Could try for this. Maneuver. Oh, okay. They're down on time in the end. Mr. Deep Blue. Okay. An up and, up and down event. Not the, not the cleanest play. That is for sure. Where did I finish? Ninth. Played only nine games. Counted for the tournament. Okay. 26 points. Ninth place first. Tanzas, 67, 52. He was cruising. Jean Valjean is in there. A very berserky player as well, 75%. It shows it there. Oh, well, let's see. 475 in there. Top 50. There's your top 50. Okay. Fun event. It's been a while since I... Recorded one for the tube. Good games all. All right, feel free, as usual, to leave any feedback to this video in the comments section below. Hope you enjoyed it and maybe took a thing or two away. That's all for now. Take care. Bye.